previously on our VVT Miata project. We tore into the engine, really got a good inspection to see where our starting point is, and went from there. Hey guys, just real quick before I get started, I'm going to run you through what I'm planning to do here. Uh, this is Dylan's VVT head. We're going to do a little bit of port and polish work on it. Uh, less is more in this case. I'm not going to do any sort of gasket matching or anything like that. Just uh, clean up some of the casting flash inside and then I'll try and get a shot of it. But the short side of the intake track and exhaust track, there's kind of like a bad step from the factory plunge cut. So we're just going to round that out a little bit. Uh, and I know there's tons of theories on what's best and what's not. Uh, I don't want to go hog wild. I just want to keep it simple. I don't have a flow bench, so I don't want to tell you what gains we're going to make. Um, I've spoken to a bunch of local builders and this is what they all recommended to me. So less is more. Um, I'll get you a shot of the uh, casting flash and I'll see if I can spin this thing around and get a shot of the, the valve plunge cut. Uh, I'm not doing anything to the combustion chambers either. There's a high risk there of nicking the valve seat and then we're in all sorts of other issues. So um, yeah, we're just gonna get started today. It's probably gonna be a couple days worth of work. It's not a quick in and out one hour job. So I'm gonna set you guys up on a time lapse and uh, see what we can do. So here's the intake side of the head. It's arguably a little better than the exhaust side, but I'll see if I can show you the casting flash. Exhaust side is too full of carbon for me to really show you what we're trying to work with here. Uh, let's see if I can get the focus in. So right along here on this channel, there's a casting flash, and that's gonna repeat itself on both sides of each intake runner, uh, probably about halfway down. And then it's the same on the exhaust side so we're just going to come in here with some sandpaper wheels on a Dremel uh, over there. Thank you, Arbor Freight. And we're going to smooth those out. Uh, probably going to finish off with 120 grit and then maybe chase it with a flappy wheel uh, if I can get it in there. That's what she said. <laughs> uh, this is a pretty tight spot, so we don't want to nick anything. <laughs> so the transition I'm looking to fix is right in here where the uh, factory plunge cut, they just kind of come in straight right here uh, just to cut the valve seat. And they don't really need to worry about any sort of flow like that because they're not worried about making, you know, all the horsepower out of this thing as possible. It's just a, something that's reliable and turnkey. So they don't really care, but we do. So I'm just gonna come in here and Round this edge out, it's pretty, if you've ever felt one of these, it's pretty abrupt little cut off there. Let's see if I can get you to focus in. So you can see where the machine surface stops, it's a super sharp edge. I'm just gonna round that out, nothing crazy. I just wanna make it flow a little better if we can. Uh, results may vary, so we're gonna play carefully here. These VVT heads already flow way better than uh, an NA8 or an NA6 head, so we've already made a big step in flow that way, which this head should be way more powerful than a factory NA motor. Uh, so good call on switching that over. So just a real quick comparison of before and after. Uh, once you hit it with a sanding wheel, it comes up really apparent. So here is the beautiful before. Uh, once you polish all the crud out of there, you can really see the casting flash down the side. And it actually goes pretty deep. Uh, you can't see it here, but it goes farther than I expected. So uh, we're gonna have to do that to all of them. And the after first pass with 80 grit, uh, you kind of just want to get rid of everything that you can see in there, smooth it out. You're not trying to shape the bowl at all. You're just trying to clean up this crud on the side. So we're gonna go ahead and do that on both sides of each intake and both sides of each exhaust. Uh, that'll be for starters. Buy a bunch of those because you're gonna go through a ton of them, so.
So, tell us how to go. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Slowly. 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 It took six and a half hours for a minor port job. Ooh. Uh, okay. okay. Mostly was just cleaning up the casting flash and getting rid of some nasty transitions that Mazda leaves in from the factory. So, gotcha. If you've ever felt the intake side, where the short side of the intake runner is, mm -hmm. there's a pretty nasty lip where uh, Mazda casts the head and then they come in afterwards and cut where the valve seat sits. Gotcha. So there's this really abrupt, you know, radius comes out, and then it's just a flat cut and air like smooth surfaces. Yeah. Uh, just like most of us do. <laughs> and so all I did there was uh, took a sanding Dremel essentially and rounded that out so there's a continuous radius there. Uh, it's kind of like running water. You take a fork, flip it, tie, uh, tangs up. Yep. Water doesn't like to go over. You flip it the other way, so it's got a nice smooth radius. It'll flow right over the back side. Gotcha. Uh, same with a spoon, you know, anything, anything rounded like that. So same concept applies here. And then on the exhaust side, that plunge cut really isn't so bad. So there's maybe a couple seconds. Of Better just, transition on that yeah, side. Yep. Yeah. Uh, a couple seconds of smoothing there, just, okay. just in case. And then what's important here is the casting flap and the exhaust side is horrible. <laughs> it's everywhere. It looks like you let, let a kid in there with a crayon and decided, okay. you know, I'm going to put some casting flash here and there. So smooth, smooth all that out with some uh, sanding bits that took the longest. And then the center transitions were the, uh, you know, essentially exhaust valve one and two where those ports come together. Mm -hmm. It's pretty thick on this and it's pretty rounded. And if you've ever seen an airplane wing, a teardrop, anything yep. like that, raindrop. Um, the tail end of that tail is end nice is to be sharp. always sharp and pointed. Yeah. That's the best way for airflow. Uh, so all I did is mimic that here. Gotcha. So yeah, you can kind of think of it like the beginning of that teardrop is on the intake side. So that's where that, it's nice and rounded. Yep. And then the end of that teardrop is on the exhaust side. So that's where it's nice and sharp. Right. So uh, exit that, get that gas out as quickly as possible. Just get out of there. It makes, <laughs> makes it work for more. So exactly. Yeah, just make sure those are all centered up, uh, cleaned out any pitting that's on the exhaust side. The intake side, we don't really care too much because, you know, fuel utilization yep. and whatnot. Yep. Um, Plus, we, we're not trying to go too overboard with this. Right. We want it to be, you know, we can do this again, be something that we can, you yeah. know, not have to pour hours and hours and hours over a time for maybe a couple, or not three, even, yeah. <laughs> especially for like from this point on. The gains are minimal, it falls it's right minimum, off. So. Minimal, minimal. Um, speaking of which, what we're, we're probably looking at maybe a, a horsepower or two as yeah. it is. Yeah. This is just a, you know, I can take six hours of my day and yeah. smooth this out because we're in there anyways, might as well. Yeah. I mean, a lot of, really what we're trying to do is just take what we got and optimize it. So it's a little design, not the best from Miata. Let's like kind of clean that up a little bit, make it as good as it can be without killing ourselves or, you know, trying to re... <laughs> redesign anything in here with the, with the Dremel, because that would just take forever. Right. The answer to going forward here would just be a CNC mail pad. Yeah. Just buy it once, <laughs> be done with it. Yeah. And we didn't even do any exhaust matching. So we nope. didn't like... No gasket matching. No gasket nothing. matching on that side. They, they flow well enough as it is. You want to yeah. keep the air, you know, Again, nice and straight, simple, less is more. We don't want to have you doing this for a week. <laughs> Nobody <laughs> wants to do that. Um, so, awesome. Yeah. So next step is uh, shaving the head. We're gonna take 40 thousandths off, give us another cool single point of compression, bring us up to 11 to one, which will be nice, nice, and, nice and peppy. That'll be sweet. It yeah. will become an interference engine. Yes. So that'll be interesting. But you can, <laughs> you can still use stock cam gears and yep. all that stuff, so we want it to get crazy with uh, exactly. adjustable cams or uh, anything like that. And then he's also, the shop's gonna do a valve job, uh, probably just a three angle cut. I was told there's no benefit of five angle on these. It's just kind of a, a sales pitch for other shops. So either a three angle or just a nice valve lap, depending on what he tells us. But cool. Uh, yeah, and then we'll get it back. We'll start the assembly and we will be shimming the head, which is going to take a while. <laughs> it's going to take a minute. But we're just going to make sure that the valve lash is all set nice because with these non hydraulic lifters, you got to. It just doesn't take up the slack, so <laughs> take a thou off here, you gotta add a thou. There, and so. Kind of around. Cool. Yeah. And once we're done with that, we'll have a nice optimized head. Yep. Wouldn't, you know, break the bank. A lot of this is gonna be budget oriented. Um, with my build, you know, it's not gonna be something that is gonna 
take a lot of money and it's really easy to uh, redo for anyone else who's interested in you know really just finding the full optimization of the DVT. So yep, the goal here is not to break a record. <laughs> so a fun, yeah. reliable street slash tracker. Yeah. So because who doesn't want that, right? Come on. Right. It sounds great, especially if so you're not. Buy me out in the yeah, place. especially if you're not breaking the bank. Come on. So well, awesome. We definitely got some good stuff there. That, dude, that was even better.